Talk Nation, Talk Nation. Welcome back, everybody. This is Real Talk Live Sports. I'm your host, Philly. Let's get into it, man. Tank Davis, Rolando Roley Romero. Um, Very, very, very funny press conference, man. You know what I'm saying? Tank throwing shots, Roley throwing shots. Roley's a funny guy. Like, um, shout out to Leonard Ellaby, man. Like you said, man, he's a troll king. You've seen the pictures, man, of him uh, running over the pinata, punching the head off a of tank face on it. I mean, it's good building up the fight, man, but um, you heard what Tank said, man. If you didn't hear what Tank said, you guys need to go back and check out the press conference, you know what I'm saying? Because um, all those channel, although this channel ain't for kids, you dig what I'm saying? I don't want to be cussing and saying all types of crazy stuff, you dig what I'm saying? But it was very, very, very comical, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Roly is a funny dude, but more importantly, Tank says some, you know what I mean? That's that's why that's why I mess with Tank. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, man, if this was the block, if this was the streets, you know what I'm saying? Situation would have been, let's just say, taken care of. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Real talk all day. Pay attention. Tank is undefeated. Roly is undefeated. You know what I mean? It's going to be a super explosive fight. Uh, Roly got power. We all know Tank got power. You know what I'm saying? Tank catch you with the right shot at the right time. <sighs> You going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You might as well tell your quarter to, you know what I mean? Had a pillow ready, had a comfort already, depending upon temperature, wherever you at, because you going to sleep. Tucked in. Check it out. Roly is a good puncher. We all know Tank is a good puncher and boxer. And you hear time and time again, Tank hasn't showed all the tools in his toolbox yet. You know what? I don't think he has. Because, shout out to Deontay Wilder, man. When you got power like that, when you get people up out of there, I mean, you may not get a chance to box. I mean, it's pretty much as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? If you catch somebody with the right shot at the right time and you hurt them and you finish them, I mean, that's the fight. You know what I mean? A fighter is not going into this fight saying, you know what, I'm not going to knock them out. I'm just going to box them because, you know what I mean, I want to show everybody my skills. No. Depending upon what your opponent shows you dictates what you do in the ring. Now, Rolly Romero... Um, slightly he has improved, but there again, shout out to Tank. Like he said, you know what I'm saying? If you was really serious and about your business, you know what I'm saying? You would have added some more tools to your game. And I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But Roly is still young. He still has time to mature, grow in the game. Now, stepping into this fight with Tank, like I said, I think um, Roly got like, you know what I'm saying? Like 14 fights, something like that. Both undefeated still. But... You guys have to realize one thing. In boxing, everybody got a puncher's chance. You know what I mean? Tank does get caught, but he doesn't get caught, I would say, with anything significant. Now, if he comes into this fight led on emotion, you know what I mean? He could get careless and possibly get caught with a shot, depending upon what shot he get caught with. Roley could possibly hurt him. Roley does have power. Now, the same thing goes for Roley. If he comes into this fight full of emotion, and um, he gets caught from Tank, Tank is definitely going to catch him. And Tank is definitely going to finish him. Tank is that special. He doesn't waste punches. He does. He's not sloppy in the ring. He's very precise. Um, and for Roly, like I said, talk is cheap. You definitely have to back it up. And coming into this fight, everything that he's been talking about, all that running his mouth, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Trolling, he kind of borderline disrespecting. You know what I mean? He better come with it because if he don't, he's going to get embarrassed, period. There's no outboxing, no. Tank is going to embarrass him. You know what I'm saying? To the point where I ain't going to say, well, he's going to retire. You know what I'm saying? But it just may be that fight that changes Roley as far as what he brings to the table. Meaning he may not be doing talking like that because guess what? People go bring up that Tank fight and say, you remember what all that talking he was doing? What did Tank do to you? Tank with me and put you to sleep. <sighs> or he beat the hell out of you. Whichever way it what, whichever way it goes, excuse me. And it's gonna go one of those ways. If the fight ends in Tank's favor, either he's going to box and beat the hell out of Roly or he's gonna knock him out. Or both. Now Roly, unfortunately, coming from an analytical standpoint, you have to say you have to give him a puncher's chance. But you cannot sit up there and say with respect of the game of boxing and both competitors that he can outbox Tank Davis. He can't do it. He cannot do it. You know what I mean? I don't know what he's been working on, 
but you cannot learn in one training camp what it takes fighters from boxing at an early age, you know what I'm saying, 10, 15, 20 years to develop. You know what I'm saying? Prime example, shout out again to um, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Um, first came with Malik Scott. They was working on some things, but unfortunately some of the things that we've seen them working on in camp, they didn't bring to the fight. Now, how was that going to look for Roley? Whatever they've been working on, you know what I'm saying? How is that going to play a part in this fight? Because Tank is smart. Whatever they try to bring to the table, Tank can nullify that. Tank is that smart, he's that gifted. And him coming out of the Southpaw stance, you know what I'm saying? Like we all know what kind of super explosive power that he has, you know what I'm saying? When he fought Leo Santa Cruz, Leo Santa Cruz was boxing well, but he got the better of him, you know what I'm saying? Once takes start wearing you down, you start making mistakes in the ring. Um, you see what Leo Santa Cruz did, you know what I'm saying? Um, throwing that throwing that lazy hand out there, throwing that lazy hand out there, you know what I mean? Tank stepped to the side, whoosh, bop, got it. You know what I mean? And Tank was like, look, I didn't even hit the guy that hard. How you going to say you hit the man that hard when he was in a corner, folded up like a lawn chair in the summertime? You dig what I'm saying? But at the same time, he also said Mario Barrios, you know what I'm saying, was getting the best of him. But look what happened to Mario Barrios. Shout out to Mario Barrios. You know and I'm saying? Also another very talented fighter. It doesn't matter how talented you are. What matters is if you get your hand raised at the end of the fight. You can be losing the whole first half of the fight. One shot can change the game. So it doesn't matter who was getting the best of you first half of the fight, even throughout the whole fight. Only thing that matters is that you get your hand raised. Now coming into this fight, Roly Romero, he better be on his A game. If he never had an A game, he sure enough should have been developing that A game for this fight because everything that he has been talking, everything that he has been talking is leading up to a potential ass whoop. I'm telling you. And looking at the press conference, looking at what he said to Tank, all, all that talking back and forth, look, boxing is a dangerous sport. What you say in the ring matters because your opponent is in the gym training, thinking about your face, thinking about what you said. And if you disrespect it in any kind of way, he's thinking about putting you in a box. You dig what I'm saying? Boxing is that dangerous. Talk Nation, stand up as your boy. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.